Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see Median Continuous Series. Very important. Now, uh, Median Continuous Series, Continuous Series, how do you identify when X is given in class interval and frequency? It means it is a continuous series. X values always in uh, class intervals like uh, 100 to 200, 200 to 300 like this. Then it is a continuous series, frequency is also given to us. Now in continuous series, how to calculate the median? Simple steps you have to remember. Same like discrete series, step number 1 is, we will prepare cumulative frequency. Uh, in the previous one, individual discrete series, we have arranged in ascending order x. Always x will be in ascending order only in continuous series, so ignore that point. Step number 1 here is we have to prepare the cumulative frequency CF will write here CF we are going to prepare step number 1. Step number 2 we have one formula that is m is equal to size of n by 2 thai term n plus 1 no n plus 1 is applicable in individual and discrete series continuous series n by 2 thai term only ok. This is formula number 1 step number 2 ok. Now step number 3 is we have sep, uh, different formula, second formula also. The formula is please remember median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF by frequency into I. What is this formula? While working out the problem, I will explain it. You need to by heart it. What is the formula? L plus N by 2 minus CF by frequency F, F into I. Okay? This is you know N by 2 item. And this formula you have to remember. Slowly just observe 5-10 minutes you will understand everything. Now uh, first thing is step number 1 is that we have to prepare the cumulative frequency right CF. Shall we prepare it in a table? So I will draw the table here. Okay. CF we are going to prepare. The numbers are high, so I will use the calculator. What effort? Let us work out. So, CF for calculation of CF, first number is as it is 26. Okay? 26 plus 68, 94, 94 plus 141, 481 plus 188, 669 and 669 plus 65, 734, 734 plus 16, 750, 750. If you total up the frequency also, it must be 750 only. So, N is here. 750. Step number 1 is over. Now, step number 2 is we will apply the first formula. What is the formula? M is equal to, I have written already, size of n by 2th item. Directly I will work out, ok. Size of n is here 750. 750 by 2th item. 750 by 2 comes to 3, uh, 375 size of 375th item. This is step number 1 is over, okay. step number 2 is over. Okay. So, this is you got it something. 375, where does it lies in cumulative frequency 375? Immediately next number to 375, above 375, immediate highest number means it is here. Okay. So, you can write here. 375 lies in class interval 300 to 400. For your understanding, I will draw one line here. So, 375 above means 481. It lies in between these two, 300 to 400. I am writing here. 375 lies in class interval 300 to 400. This is the major step. 
if you identify next coming to the formula. Se second formula m is equal to L. L is lower class interval 300. This is L. Okay. So, this is L lower class interval. So, here only you have to focus L is 300. L plus n by 2, n is here 750. 750 by 2, already we have done 750 by 2, it comes to 375. If you want, you can write separately or otherwise directly you can write 375 minus CF. Cumulative frequency, above number you have to take, not in the same line. Above frequency. So, this is uh, CF. Minus CF is 239 divided by frequency. Frequency means this is frequency. Okay. Frequency is 242 into I. I means class interval. Difference between any number it comes to 100. Okay. I is 100 and apply it in the formula. If you want you can write separately also like this L is equal to 300 and uh, n by 2 is you know uh, minus cf cf is 239 239 and frequency is 242 and i is equal to 100 like this you can write are you getting it then after, after this line you can go for this formula it will be easy so that you get one more step also now let us focus on the calculation 300 plus this is uh, 375 you know 375 minus 239 375 minus 239 comes to 136 136 by 242 into 100 this is directly we can do 136 into 100 that is 1300 600 13600 divided by uh, 242 which comes to 56.19 means 2 you can take 56.2 this whole calculation so altogether median is equal to i can write here median is equal to 300 plus 356.2 means 3 56.2 is the answer. Am I clear? Uh, let me explain once again. So, there is no confusion at all in continuous it is sorry I forgot to write here uh, the first class interval was not given less than 100 less than 100 means shall I write now less than 100 means 0 to 100 0 to 100 that you have to change it. Okay. Now, problem is given to us this Step number 1 is first you have to calculate the cumulative frequency either discrete series or continuous series. First step CF cumulative frequency prepared. Next step number 2 is formula number 1 size of n by 2th item. So, according to the size of n by 2 means 750 by 2th item that comes to 375. Where does it lies in cumulative frequency? Just above this number 375 above means this one. Okay. I have drawn one line. Now, I have written one sentence also 375 lies in class interval 300 to 400. 300 to 400. 300 to 400. This line, if you draw one line with pencil, it will be clear for you to identify the rest of the numbers. Now, we will apply the second formula. Second formula is median is equal to L plus n by 2 minus C of by frequency into I. Okay. So, here L, L means this one. 300. N by 2 is you know already we have done 750 by 2, 750 by 2 I have written minus CF. CF means this line above cumulative frequency, this one is CF. Please be careful never write 481, above number of 481, this is cumulative frequency 239. So, 239 we have written divided by frequency, frequency is 242, that is written into i, i means class interval, class interval difference of the class interval. If you see any number difference is 100 only, so i is here 100. 
applied in the formula if you calculate we got it 356.2 that's it am i clear if i am clear let's go for homework problem so this is the problem given to you here the twist is that class interval is not given properly 60 to 69 70 to 79 80 to 89 it's given like this in previous problem 60 to 70 70 to 80 it was like that okay so when if it is given how to work out uh, just two three steps i'll show you first thing is that as usual cf cf means 5 20 40 70 uh, 90 98 so this total is 98 right roughly i'm showing you now if you use the first formula do you, have you noted this i wanted to rub it and i'll show you uh, at least one two steps so it will be easy for you to understand have you noted yes so here uh, formula number one size of uh, first formula m is equal to size of n by tooth item 98 by 2 sorry 98 by 2 it means 49th item 49th item where does it lies it's here you will draw one line here okay then after that step number 2 median is equal to l1 l l l is here uh, 90 actually but here 89 and 90 okay whenever you are finding 69 to 70 79 to 80 like this this l1 we have to take 89.5 l is 81 uh, i'll write here l is equal to 89.5 lower class interval 89.5 upper class interval also 89.5 only because the difference between these two is 1 1 is shared in the lower class interval and upper class interval shared means 0.5 so that is why we are writing 89.5 are you getting this the problem main twist is this one only l1 is here l is 89.5 and uh, next to the formula is here and uh, the rest of the problem is normal as it is shall i write l is 89.5 plus n by 2 n by 2 is already we have done 49th item na? 49th item minus cf cf is here 7 40 40 by frequency is 30 into i i is 10 only because when we are writing 80 89.5 99.5 means that is difference is 10 only so 10 problem is half done <laughs> now what you have to do only calculations if you do the calculations your answer will be 92.5 how many of you are getting let me know in the comment box hope the problem is clear both the problems okay so here only the thing is when class interval is given like this you have to take l1 as l l is as 89.5 that's it rest of the problem is normal as it is no doubt at all are you getting the uh, same answer uh, okay next class also we'll see median continuous series but there are some different problems pattern is different let me focus that also because i don't want to leave any single uh, single unit or single topic which is having a different pattern no i don't want to miss so next class will have different kinds of problems method you understood na so that I will explain it in the next class. Stay connected. Entire, cha uh, uh, entire uh, this channel is free of cost to all the student community. Please do share it with your friends. Recommend them and you use it. Practice well and have a bright career. See you in the next class. Good luck.